Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Canvas. So today in this video, we'll discuss about a very very important coding question, which is Armstrong number. So everyone know how to calculate the Armstrong number or if any number is Armstrong or not. But in competitive exam, direct question not asked. So you will not asked directly to check if this number is Armstrong or not. So these types of questions are not asked, but they ask this question with some little bit of extra constant that is print all the Armstrong numbers between two intervals or print the Armstrong numbers between this given range. So these types of question may be asked in your on campus and off campus examination. And this question was also asked in TCS and QD in this year. So this is a very, very important coding question. Okay, so let's see how to solve this problem. So first we'll discuss what is Armstrong number. So if you are given such numbers like 1 and 2, so you have to calculate how many digits are present in this number. So you can see there are two digits are present in this number. So you have to take every digit and do square of this and then add these two numbers. Okay, so the 1, 2 will be calculated like this, 1 square and then plus 2 square. Okay, so 1 square plus 2 square equals 2. So this is 4 and this is 1, 1, 5. So 12 is not 5. So this is not an Armstrong number. So 12 is not an Armstrong number. So similarly, if we see 1, 5 and 3. So you can see here, there are 3 digits in this number, 1, 5 and 3. So our power will be 3. Okay, so right here, 1 to the power 3 plus 5 to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3. Okay, so after calculating this, if the result is equal to this same number, then this is an Armstrong number. Okay, so let's calculate. This is 1 plus 5 cube is 125 plus 3 cube is 27. So 1 plus 125 equals to 126 plus 27 equals to 153. Okay, so you can see here after calculating this, the result is same as the previous number. Okay, so if these two are equals, then it is called an Armstrong number. So 153 is an Armstrong number. So similarly, you can calculate for 370. So this is an Armstrong number. You can also calculate for 371. And this is also an Armstrong number and 407, this is an Armstrong number. Okay, so between 100 and 500. So if you are asked to print all the prime numbers between 100 and 500, then these four numbers will be printed because between this 100 and 500, these four numbers are the Armstrong numbers. Okay, so now how we will calculate this? So first we'll write a for loop and we'll iterate from a given lower range to an upper range. Okay, and then we'll calculate the number of digits of each number. Suppose you start from 100 and to 500. So we want to see all the Armstrong numbers between this. First, we'll check the number of digits. So here the number of digits of this 100 is three. So our first task is to find the number of digits. And then we'll check if this is an Armstrong number or not. So if this is an Armstrong number, then we'll print it. Else we'll see the next number, which is 101. Similarly, we'll do the same operation for all the numbers between 100 and 500. Okay, so now let's write the code here. So first write the basic format of the C++ that is has include a stream using namespace standard then int main. So inside this main function writing integer variable suppose the result and we will initialize it as 0. So our initial result is 0 and then n and this will count the number of digits and our initial count value is 0. Okay, so now we will write a for loop here. So for int i equals to start i less than equals to end and then i plus plus okay so our start value is suppose end start and our start value is 100 and our 
end value is suppose 500. Okay, so between this range we want to calculate all the Armstrong numbers. So now our first task is to calculate the number of digits of each number. But here you can see the number of digits is same for this range 100 to 500. But if it is given suppose 1 to 500, then the number of digits will vary. Because for 1 to 9, the number of digits is 1 and for 10 to 99, the number of digits is 2 and for 100 to 500, the number of digits is Three. So our first value will be start that is 100 and it will be stored into this i and we'll store this i into some another variable like team variable okay. So i will be stored into the team variable and next we'll check the number of digits using a while loop. So while team is not equals to 0 okay not equals to 0 we'll remove the last digit of that number that is temp equals to temp divided by 10 so this will remove the last digit and after removing the last digit will increase the value of count count number of digits okay so in this way until temp becomes zero it will count the number of digits of that number okay so this is our first task and our next task is to check if this number is Armstrong number or not. Now we will store the i into temp. Okay. So let's store i into the temp and we will write a while loop here to check if this number is a Armstrong number or not. Okay. For that write here temp not equals to 0. So while temp not equals to 0, we will do this operation. So inside another variable suppose r will store the reminder team percentile 10 so will store its reminder into r that is if you are giving suppose 1 2 3 so 3 this 3 will be stored into this r okay and after that we will store the result and result equals to result plus so power of so right here power of r to the power n that is power of n power of r n that is r to the power n that is 3 to the power n that is the count of the digits so count of the digits were 3 so 3 to the power 3 there will be 3 to the power 3 and that will be stored into the result and every time we will store into the result so we have right here result equals to result plus power of r n okay next we will remove this number that is next we will remove this last digit that is 3 we will remove the 3 so how to remove this last digit so temp equals to temp divided by 10 so this will uh, remove the last digit okay so in this way we can calculate the Armstrong number and now we'll check if these two numbers are same so our initial number was i and after calculating it becomes result so if result equals to i so if this condition satisfied then we'll print the result so as we have used power function here we have to include the math file here so as include math dot h okay so we have used team and r here and we have not declared it here so right here team and then r okay and for this for loop we check from the start to the end so for every value we'll calculate this and we'll check this if this is a Armstrong number or not and after calculating this our count value will be zero because we want to check for the another variables also so our count value will be zero and so we'll write our count value as zero after calculating this and our result also zero because we want to calculate for the another number okay so this is the important point you have to write this to and let's run it okay so here you can see Armstrong number between 100 and 500 is 153 that is 153 370 371 and 407 okay so these four are the Armstrong numbers between this 100 and 500 so let's change the start as 1 1000 so let's change it to 1000 and 
this to 10,000. Okay, so let's write again. So you can see between 1,000 and 10,000, there are three Armstrong numbers. Okay, so let's check it for 1 and 100. So give it 1 here and give it 100. Okay, let's run it. So here you can see these all are the Armstrong numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. Okay friends, so hope you understand this and enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like this video and subscribe this channel and share it with your friends and thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.